Well, when I heard, first heard the story of Arthur and Michael, obviously I thought it would make for an amazing movie. I was very excited about the opportunity to uh, play the part of Michael, but then I realized how difficult and challenging it would be physically to make this film because adventure racing is one of the most physically demanding uh, sports in, in the history of sports. So uh, excited and then I realized, well, I'm a little older and I don't know how many more rounds I got left in me, but I was, it was too good an opportunity to pass up, that's for sure. Well, when I first met Michael, uh, he is, 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 was very excited about the idea of us making this film, but also he had very high expectations about what we were going to do to portray him, his team, and his relationship with Arthur in, in an accurate way. Um, but, you know, he was very clear with me that, you know, everything was about racing for him, and he was obsessed with the idea of winning and winning a world championship until he met Arthur, who was probably a guy who was so focused and so committed that you could actually say he was selfish until he met Arthur and was faced with this choice and did one of the most selfless things. When depicting somebody's uh, life story, you know, it's, it's important for us to get it right so we deal with with it in the with the sensitivity and respect that it deserves well again so i play michael in the film and you know he is an older guy who has raced uh for quite some years and never reached the pinnacle in which he hoped and aspired to and so this basically is his last chance uh at winning a world championship and he'll do anything to achieve that and uh, even if that meant using his own life savings manipulating his team to coming uh and thinking that they would have enough time and the resources to train and prepare for such a, a difficult and demanding race. Um, but he, again, would do anything to win and have the opportunity to win until he meets Arthur and then his entire life changes. How could you not be inspired by such a wonderful story? I think um, such a heartfelt, wonderful, inspiring story. I think um, everybody would hope to have and Arthur in their life, and I think it is an opportunity to find that special bond and that special connection with a furry friend like Arthur. So yes, I think this will be one of the most inspiring films in a long time, certainly one of the most inspiring films that I've been a part of. So uh, it's, it's a remarkable story. There's two wonderful races in the movie, but the race to save Arthur is the thing that inspired me the most. Well, when you have a story like Arthur, um, it really is uh, the reason why we attracted so much talent. You know, obviously this is a, this is a, a, a wildly inspiring story and people were all wanting to be a part of it and, and bring it to the big screen. So many people hopefully will find so many different things um, to be inspired by throughout the film. There's many themes that I find inspirational, but you know, um, Getting after your dreams is, is something that I hope that people will continue to do. I think, you know, a lot of people, especially in today's environment, get, get a little bit complacent or, you know, don't have the, you know, the confidence in themselves to go after it. And I think you'd be surprised what you can accomplish if you're willing to do the work. And you never know where you'll find somebody or something will change your life and your world forever, and certainly for the better. I saw the uh, the piece on uh, eight, on ESPN E60 first, and I just I thought it was a remarkable story. I know have a tendency to gravitate towards you know true stories and inspirational stories. Uh, although I was obviously quick to point out that it was probably one of the more physical movies that I would end up having to do, but. You know, you just kind of suck that up. I'm getting a little old for it, but you kind of suck that up and you just feel like, you know, it, it could be such an impactful story on so many levels. Uh, and certainly when I read the script and I felt like it was much more than just an action movie. It's not really about the race. Um, it's really about the relationships and it's a character piece. So that was what was most appealing to me. Well, the story takes place uh, in and around the World Adventure Racing Championships. Uh, I play Michael Light, who is a guy who's pretty obsessed with having never won the world championships. Uh, here's a guy who's been kind of faced with rejection and doubt throughout his entire, really entire life, certainly his athletic career uh, from high school on. And you know, he is becoming pretty obsessed with uh, the idea of winning this race to the point where he's willing to sacrifice pretty much anybody or anything to win. But then as the race goes on, he kind of sacrifices the race and does a selfless thing for probably one of the more uh, unlikely uh, beings and it's you know this this dog who is kind of you know he kind of saw the dog felt bad for him threw a meatball but not necessarily to feed the dog but kind of just to kind of shoo him away 
and the dog continued to follow him for hundreds of miles and went on this whole entire journey with him. We wanted to really kind of push the envelope, but I think, uh, you know, parents will want their kids to see the movie because of the message behind it. You know, they had this amazing bond, and uh, I loved that about, about, I remember when I was watching the doc with my kids, and my kids were like, Dad, are you gonna do this movie? I said, yeah, and they said, are you gonna be with that dog? I said, well, that or another dog. He goes, can we have that dog? I said, I think Michael would quickly give you one of his kids before he'd give you the, uh, Arthur. Well, I, I just do what I always do, uh, whatever kind of preparation is necessary, but I think, you know, spend a lot of time cycling and spend a lot of time uh, kayaking, kayak here with Michael, but I think at the end of the day, for me, it was more about just kind of trying to stay as fit as possible, but then be able to handle all the physical demands of the movie. Simu's fantastic. I mean, he plays Leo. He really responded to the material, and he also had wonderful ideas about how to kind of make the character um, just a lot more uh, interesting. And then, um, you know, he just seemed like he had the toughness and the grit. And, you know, you look at the guy, I mean, he looks like a movie star, you know? So to be able to get somebody who has that much buzz uh, in a part like this and really bring it to the table, uh, it's fantastic. Ali and I had worked together on Lone Survivor, and I, I mentioned Ali right away for the role of Chick, and I just, I love him. You know, he's, he's fantastic. Natalie is amazing as well. She's absolutely fantastic. Really tough, really sweet, but also, you know what, I, we knew the most important thing, because I mean, obviously it's physically demanding and stuff like that, but we wanted people that could really kind of go there and capture the emotional aspects of these characters. When we thought about Simon, you know, we really knew that uh, he's tough, he could get in the weeds, but he also has a fantastic eye. And for him to be able to shoot this and get the scope um, that we wanted to, uh, to have for this movie with the time frame that we had and everything, he's been fantastic. I just bonded with him in a way where, and it happened organically. It was like, in the beginning, they're like, I'll spend time with you, Kai. And I'm like, no, because, you know, we kind of meet and then we connect and then, you know, it just got to happen naturally. And it happened in a big way. So uh, he's very, very special. He would come to my house in the morning and I'd make sure I would have lots of goodies saved for him. He loves hot dogs and, and uh, steak. Juliet Rylance is fantastic, Alani is great, and Rob Collins did an amazing job, and we really had people who were all kind of here and want to be part. When you're making a movie that's a true story, you get people committed to doing it, and it becomes a lot more than what they're trying to get out of the experience as an actor. They're all servicing the big picture and, you know, telling the story and Michael's story uh, and his team, and that it just becomes uh, something different. This is a movie that ultimately is going to be uh, a bit of a ride, but I think ultimately you're going to walk out of the theater feeling fantastic, you know. Uh, I mean, you can't help, you'll definitely shed a tear, and, uh, and, but hopefully feel good, and then maybe, you know, adopt a dog or adopt a pet.